cruise ships docked in Nassau Harbor today and all but one are registered in the Bahamas. And the business community leader is calling for more focus to be placed on the country's shipping industry. President of the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation, Edison Sumner, says the maritime industry is considered a sleeping giant in this country. Sumner says if the government and officials from the private sector come together to assist with providing more job opportunities for young Bahamians to thrive in the field, he believes unemployment among our young people will decline significantly. Every week when you look in the harbor, there are ships pulling in. You've got sometimes an average of 15 to 20,000 jobs walking off those ships, coming into Nassau Harbor, walking into downtown areas. How many of those people do you see are Bahamians leaving those ships to come on shore to say they're going to shop, buy product, and get back on the ships? We see a lot of Asians on the ships, um, uh, Indonesians and the rest of them, Japanese. But imagine, just imagine, that if we as, as a private sector and as government can collaborate and get these young people trained, and if we can't do one, perhaps they may even be able to take two on a ship, or perhaps some ships can take as many as 15, 20 people on a single vessel. Imagine the dent that we can put in our unemployment levels. Additionally, Sumner says we must also find more innovative ways to make the industry much more attractive to young Bahamians who may be interested in pursuing a career in the field. Imagine that we have an average of 5,000 young people who leave school every year. Some of them, a very small percentage of those people actually decide or have the opportunity to go on to university. Some go through, uh, matriculate through the College of the Bahamas, others have, have the chance to go off to school, some get into vocational training, etc. But imagine that the Bahamas Ship Register, I, as I understand it, has about 1,600 ships on its register. And just imagine that if we are able to train at least 1,600 people every year and place one person on every ship that's carrying the Bayman flag, that you have the potential of getting 1,600 people trained, professionally trained, where they can actually access high-paying, very lucrative jobs that will take them around the world several times.